We can measure the free energy difference between products and reactants at any stage in a chemical reaction. If we arbitrarily set all the pressures and concentrations to one atmosphere or one molar, then that's the standard state, and we can measure free energy differences there. But the product and reactant concentrations can change. If we measure the concentrations at other than one molar and one atmosphere, that's a free energy, and we remove the little degree sign that indicates standard state. So as reactions proceed, the free energies of the products and reactants change. At the beginning, the reactant free energies will be high and the product free energies low. As the reaction proceeds, the reactant free energies drop and the product free energies raise until you get to a point where the free energies are the same. So the difference between the free energy of the products and the reactants is zero. And that's the equilibrium state, where I can switch in between product and reactant with no free energy penalty. The playing field has been leveled. So let's look at that for a couple different cases. When delta G for a chemical reaction is less than zero, that means the products are lower in free energy than the reactants. Remember, it's products minus reactants. So if you have a higher reactant free energy than the products, then delta G will be negative. That's the same case for Q less than K. A Q less than K says Q is too small. The denominator, the reactants, is too big. I should go towards products. Delta G less than zero says the same thing. Reactants are high, products are low, and I should go towards products. If I look at delta G equals zero, that's the equilibrium situation. And that's where Q equals K, where my concentrations are such that they're not going to change. The playing field has been leveled, the free energy of the products, the free energy of the reactants are the same. I can interchange between the two. The macroscopic properties won't change. Q and K are the same. I can also think about the situation where delta G is positive. That would mean the product free energies are higher. Or Q is bigger than K. The numerator is too big on Q. In order to make that small, I have to go back towards reactants. So this says, go back towards reactants. So I can summarize that in an analytical form. I can write delta G is the standard state free energy plus RT ln Q. The free energy of a chemical reaction is a function of the concentrations, just like we thought. As the reaction proceeds, the reactant free energies change, the product free energies change, till they come to equilibrium. Notice that delta G standard is a constant. That's the delta G difference for everything at one molar or one atmosphere of pressure. That's a constant for a given temperature. So Delta G varies based on that standard state and the concentrations. And we have a nice formula that relates free energy to the conditions that exist right now, Q, the reaction quotient.